Hey, this is Joseph from The Healthy Marriage. I recently had a couple approach me and ask for some tips on how to deal with difficult topics. Their specific issue was finances. They had a lot of debt and uh, they kind of disagreed on some things and it always wound up in an argument and a fight. And so they were, were wanting to know, how, how do we deal with this? How can we talk about this without fighting? Well, we actually have an article called um, how, to, how to Talk About Financial Problems with Your Spouse Without Fighting. Uh, and I, I lay out six steps. But one of the steps, and this was what caused them to pause. One of the steps I mentioned was put it on the calendar and set a timer. And they kind of looked at me a little funny, and I said, well, let me explain. So my wife has a saying, and we have a, a house rule, that if it's big and important, it goes on the calendar. We've missed too many events and things like that way in the past because we didn't have a big calendar. So we actually have, we have two. We've got one in the kitchen on the fridge, but we've got a master calendar that is uh, on the desk. And of course, I have my work calendar that I keep track of stuff on my phone. But we have the master calendar on the desk in the in the home office. And it, at least once a day, one of us is looking at the calendar, and it allows us to remind ourselves of things that we've got coming up. But so I recommended that they do that. Use a calendar. Here's why. Not so you keep track of when the when you're going to schedule a meeting, but things that go on the calendar tell me, oh, that's a priority and I don't need to miss this. I need to make sure it's synced with my personal calendar because because one of us has said this is a priority. So when you put something on the calendar, you're making a statement to yourself and your spouse, this is important enough that I want to schedule it so we can discuss it. So, you know, the old saying is if you you don't you don't find time for important things, you make time for important things. And so when you when I recommend that if you've got big issues you need to talk about with your spouse, put it on the calendar. Set aside time for that because it's a priority. Whatever you prioritize goes on the calendar. If it's important to you, you schedule it. Um, trust me, man, when vacation time comes around, it's scheduled. It's on the calendar. So, so if it's important to talk about with your spouse, make it a priority and put it on the calendar. So that was the first step. The second step, I've, I've never heard anybody else do this, but I, I think it's important to set a timer. Listen, I've led a lot of meetings in the past, I've had staff meetings, company meetings, sales meetings, and I always try to block off time and go, this is the start time, but this is the finish time. So what that does when, when we do that is two things, and I think this applies in a marriage situation. The two things it does is, number one, it lets me know I'm not going to be in a perpetual meeting that's going to go and bleed into dinner, bleed into our evening. I'm going to carry it to bed with me because we've got to start and finish time. And my wife and I found that that works wonders because we're, we're good about, even if we disagree, letting go of things and we know we're going to be able to get our words out. We're going to be able to get our point across. We're going to be able to state our case and deal with this and discuss this for this amount of time. My wife and I can usually do big things like that in 30 minutes. Most people, it's going to take an hour. Anything over an hour and a half, I got a feeling you're probably just circling around the mountain over and over. So, but, but so set a timer. It lets me know I'm not going to be caught in this perpetual meeting and it's not going to be this thing that I, I have to carry with me and I hear it over and over. We're going to be able to discuss it in a professional manner. Look, problems, we need to approach them that way. I don't mean to sound non-intimate and non-family, you know, family, but listen, business things, we got to approach them in a professional manner and let's deal with them like it's a business situation. Let's deal with the problem and let's solve the problem. The other thing that it does is if I know I have five minutes to get my point across, you know what I do? I cut out the fluff. I, I, I whittle it down to the top two things that I think are most important. 
and I address those and I deal with those. Those are the things I bring up. So it keeps me on track to deal with the most important things. What I find in most couples is when they're going to deal about financial problems, you know where it goes? They start off dealing with money issues and then it becomes name calling and then it becomes, well, you did this and last week you did this and this is the reason we're not ha having intimacy in our marriage and so it, you never talk to me. So it comes into it's not about finances anymore. It's about your sex life. It's about your, um, your communication or lack of communication. It's about you spending too much time at work or too much time on the golf course or too much time on the lake and you're not giving me attention and it just devolves. So if I know we've got to start and finish time and I've got a timer on me, I'm going to stick to the issue and I'm going to drill down on what is really important. Another advantage of putting it on the calendar is it gives us both an opportunity to go, okay, I know Thursday, we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about this problem we've been having. And what it does is it, it gives me thinking time, praying time, and planning time. So I can come with, with my, um, I can come prepared mentally to really address the real issues. So listen, it sounds almost overly practical, but I'm telling you, practical things work. And if you'll use a calendar and you'll use a timer when it comes to dealing with tough problems, that have to be finances, but dealing with tough issues, I think you'll find you're making more progress than you did before. So I hope that helps you have a healthy marriage. Thanks for tuning in.